Hey Aries. So when I was shuffling, I feel like one, you could have gone through a breakup. Also, I think you want to move to either somewhere or towards something um, more peaceful. You could have broke up with a Leo or you want to move towards a Leo. One of the two. Also, you're being called to do something that is going to bring you a lot of success. So if you have just an idea that's lingering in your head and has been for a while, do it. I have joined in here as an overall energy for you. Definitely could have ended something, but maybe somebody wants you to join some club or group. It's probably a good thing for you. Or wants to hire you, probably a good thing. New career, yes, you could want to definitely move towards maybe a new career. Maybe your job is really demanding and you just like kind of want some peace. Also, I have healing from the past, so definitely could have gone through a breakup because there's healing here that you're currently healing from something. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Okay. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. You have the Three of Swords here and the Ace of Wands. So, okay, you could have a really passionate relationship with somebody. It could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But we have the Three of Swords here, which I feel like it's fear. Yeah, justice. Yeah, you got a truth about something. You have the Fool card here. So you got the truth about um, a connection here. Or you want the truth about a connection. Also, I'm getting married with the Justice card here. Maybe you wanted to marry someone and you guys were engaged. Yeah. Well, lovers with the Page of Pentacles could have been an Earth sign. Um, let's see. Maybe I get more for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, the Venus sign. I get more for Aries. Yeah, you could be scared. Okay, you could be scared that somebody's going to leave you by the Pentacles here. Somebody could be demanding the truth about something. Hermit card, could be dealing with a Virgo. But yeah, you could be keeping something to yourself and maybe someone is seeking this, whatever you're keeping to yourself. Okay, well, Ten of Swords with the Page of Wands definitely could be dealing with another fire sign. But yeah, someone wants to start something new with you. Could be a new job, could be a new relationship. And you look a little shy here in this card. Someone looks pretty shy to start this new beginning. You could be a little fearful about starting this new beginning or a little hesitant. Yeah, two of swords, you need to make a decision here. And you have the ace of pentacles. So this definitely could be a new job and you could be making a decision about a job. You could have Leo in your chart because I'm feeling like some fixed energy here. Maybe you've worked for your current place for a long time and now you have an opportunity to move on, which it'll make you happy that you're like, man, I've been doing this for a while. Like, why leave? Okay. King of Cups here, you could want to make an offer to another fire sign. We have the Queen of Wands, or somebody's trying to make an offer to you. Universe, why is the Three of Swords here for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay. King of Swords, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be cutting out this fear here. Maybe you're not scared anymore to move forward, or you're trying to get over the past, over something that happened to you. You're trying to get over it here with King of Swords. Trying to grow, have mental strength. Okay, you have the Ace of Wands, clarifying that as the Two of Wands. So you could be planning to move forward here, start a new cycle with somebody, but you're trying to make a decision. You have two cards of decisions here. You could be a little confused about if this will be stable or if you think this marriage will go well, if you want to marry this person. Why is the Two of Wands here with the Ace of Wands? Why is the Two of Wands here? Maybe you're unsure if the passion's still there. Okay. So somebody could have been pretty generous to you or you're being generous to somebody of the Six of Pentacles. So you could be gaining something successful for being from this person or maybe vice versa here. Somebody could have cut out something that has to do with money. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we have the Nine of Pentacles here. So somebody could be doing well. Maybe the person that you're dealing with is doing really well. Let's see, why is justice here? Oh, okay. maybe you feel like somebody's with you for your money. Universe one is justice here, love. Chariot card, you could be dealing with a cancer. But you could have got a truth about a cancer in your life. Well, death card, ooh, death card with the seven of swords, yeah. With the star card, somebody could have got the truth. Somebody you were dealing with could be getting a lot of attention, could be famous, could have a lot of money here. But this could be you. 
you got the truth about something, and I think you could be putting it into... If you're with a cancer or there's a cancer in your life, I don't think you want to participate with this person anymore. Yeah, Seven of Swords, you got the truth about what they were lying about, sneaking around about, stealing. You got the truth about that. You could feel a little left in the cold, a little lost. You could have a child with this person. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. Why is Five of Pentacles here? Universe, why is Five of Pentacles here for Aries? Well, okay. The Nine of Cups. Yeah, you could be wanting to move towards happiness or maybe due to finding out about this, it could be a third party here. Or maybe you found out about this at a party. Maybe you guys were drinking and you found something out and it made you feel really upset. Or there's a lack of happiness here in this connection also. Clarifying the Hermit is the Magician. So you could be trying to manifest or maybe you want to communicate with somebody. These are two cards of Virgo though. So you definitely could be dealing with a Virgo. Clarify the magician, the hermit. Yeah, you're unsure. If you're dealing with a Virgo, you're unsure about this connection. You're unsure where it'll go or if it'll be successful. Clarify the hermit with the magician. Let's clarify the hermit with the magician. Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you don't know if you want to move forward with this. Maybe you feel like they're a little flighty or like if you get in a relationship with them, if they're going to be serious and committed. Yeah, you're afraid of being left out in the cold again. Somebody's afraid of that. Could be the other person. Five of Pentacles. I'm getting a lot of fear. Maybe the person you're dealing with, their fears are holding you back, holding them back. Yeah. Three of Swords. This fears. They're scared. Because probably due to the past, that could be why I have the healing from the past card here. Somebody's letting past situations um, like cloud their decision on moving forward with this new. So why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here for Aries? It's like moon rising and Venus signs. Yeah, you could be really defensive just because you, I mean, you've had all these swords stuck in your back and you're just like, okay. You're kind of, I feel like pushing, somebody could be pushing you away, you could be pushing somebody else away and you're just slowly healing from what had happened. Ooh, okay. You're unsure to, if you're actually going to do this. I have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Clarifying the Two of Swords. So you, you're you unsure if you're going to actually take the steps to move forward with this person. Why is the Two of Swords here with the Nine of Swords? Why is the Two of Swords here with the Nine of Swords? Maybe there's just more healing. Yeah, the high priest, you, you don't know if they are going to commit to you. You have the eight of swords. So you're scared around this new beginning, the world with the eight of swords. You're not sure if you want to move forward with this just like due to what you've been through. Or this could be their, this person's energy and that could be why they're not moving forward towards you. So yeah, let me get some advice for you. Universe, what's the advice for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, what's the advice? Five of air. Okay, maybe if you're planning something, if you're planning on dropping this person, moving forward, whatever you're planning, I'm getting just like, think it through thoroughly. Like usually the five of air as an advice is a little bit weird. I'm getting, think it through thoroughly before you like just completely stop and cut it out. Cause like before you decide just to drop it and say, fuck it, I'm not even gonna deal with it think about it a little bit more because we have patience here with the 10 of water. So this will bring you the 10 of cups, but maybe you just need to be patient with yourself or patient with this person because they're healing. So anyway, Aries, I hope this was a good reading for you, whether this was your energy or their energy. But if you would like a personal reading, there is information down below on how you could get one and yeah, enjoy the rest of your week.